Good morning park managers and welcome back to Jurassic World Evolution 2. Today I'm going to be making a quarry enclosure. Now I showed you how to make a mountain that obviously goes up and you can make really big like chasms, quarries, things like that into the ground. I don't do the biggest I can possibly do because even though obviously this is all sped up but it does take a while to like dig all the way down. Now you can do some truly massive quarries. You can even build entire zoo in a quarry if you really wanted to but honestly it does it does take a while to like dig it down but once you get there it, it's quite an interesting structure in your parks you can sort of imagine it would be really cool for like holding sauropods or big theropods in here because you've also got that natural sense of like a barrier also in Jurassic World Evolution you it's like curved to a point where dinosaurs can walk up and down mountains so you are going to have to place a lot of rocks to keep them in the actual quarry itself but you know in the real world quarries do get sort of repurposed like into different things after they used maybe like landfill or the local one near me I say local it's about half hour drive they converted the uh, quarry into this massive lake for scuba diving and scuba dive training so that's kind of like an interesting use for it and I thought if there was an abandoned quarry on the land that you were to build a zoo you'd probably use it to keep a sauropod in because like sauropods are big they could probably do a fair bit of damage to your fences if you've ever watched a prehistoric park you'll know that they have difficulty keeping sauropods from uh, uh, escaping doing their own thing I mean, to be honest, they were using like logs as fences. So yeah, I don't, I don't, honestly, I, I don't know what they were thinking about housing sauropods with logs as fencing. They're going to easily knock that down. But with the steel ones, it would be a little harder. But then you could save yourself tons of money just by buying land near a quarry and then sort of using that as a natural uh, barrier to get in and out. And using the steeps, you could do like I've done here, a simple metal gate fence at the beginning. And it'd be really simple to keep them in. So I thought it was a really cool idea. I made it so obviously it's been abandoned for a while before it's repurposed. So nature's starting to grow in there. But you could do absolutely all sorts. Again, if you made this bigger than I've already made, it you could do a whole zoo in there with shops bathrooms things like that knocking about but i kept it nice and simple i just put a few plants here and there and as well i put viewing galleries just to bring guests to the actual area and they'll have a way of viewing into it and you can also say there's like informational boards about the dinosaurs in here obviously these are diplodocus a really nice sauropod one of my favorites anyways i did a redwood forest at the bottom with that simple base that i usually do also didn't make it too thick sauropods need that space to get around but yeah honestly this was a really enjoyable build i mean the long bit was doing the rock work always is the long bit and i did fancy rocks on the edge so the guests don't fall in but yeah i hope you've enjoyed this i hope it's giving you some ideas and as always, thanks for watching. Until next time, I'll see you later.